always freak out before a car leaves, like making sure it's perfect. You know? It gives me anxiety, like, you know, what if I'm receiving a car, making sure not one little thing is off. And we all see things differently. I mean, I mean John's a fucking dope dude. He's in our industry, you know? John follows Doc Race. He builds probably the best BMW, turbo kits, um, builds a lot of badass shit. So he acquired his VR though, you know, he built his own kit. And uh, he's just really busy, so he wanted a standalone management on it and a clutch upgrade, so we, we helped him with that. Um, put a upgraded clutch, Cybex, and e gear stuff is a pain in the butt to tune the rollout, drivability, and reverse, and I think we spent the most time doing that. Uh, it ran out of fuel, so it's just tuned on, on the gate, which is seven pounds of boost. But it has a stupid fucking oil leak that it came with. Um, the front timing cover we're just trying to fix it for multiple leaks this car's old older you know so and it's just you know it's been here for a while and john's just gonna get it back and john's gonna just go ahead and take it apart and fix the oil leaks you know so we're gonna just help him from here but uh, just want to make sure he gets a nice clean car and looks good you know so good dude so it's cool working with him you know it's cool that other other companies in our industry trust us to, to help them with their cars you know so car drive is phenomenal man the cybex Boyan did a great job, you know, e-gear stuff. If you watch videos and they're rolling out, they're always like, oh, 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 oh. it just rolls out smooth, it's, it's good, so. Yeah, starting the day off with this, and then um, that's on its way. Felipe, who owns the Green Huracan, which you guys have been seeing a lot of. Uh, Felipe's a busy dude. He lives in Kansas, but's moving to Florida. He flew in literally just for the day, so he could test drive his car um, and experience it before he gets it back home, you know? So that'll be cool. Um, and then we're gonna, Slap the turbo kit on the gray Huracan. And man, are the stars align. If I fire that today, mission to you know, good day. But as you know, things always happen. You get, you know, bumps on the roads. You know, you have a plan and then you're missing a hose end, you're missing a fitting, you're missing this, or dumb shit. So one thing at a time, start with this, deal with Felipe, get the turbo kit on the gray car, and then uh, end out this week strong. You know, we've been killing it ever since, you know, our, our New Year's uh, business strategy and team strategy has been really effective. Amazing. Uh, Alonzo booked another Gen 2 R8 being shipped to us for our States 2 Plus package. Uh, so we'll have that next week added to the list of the R8s. So the next five cars are going to be R8s. So it should be cool. Stay tuned. So grandpa right there, a bunch of message cars. You better get some bodies on the beach. My God. <laughs> hey, so we had high hopes. I mean, in the perfect world scenarios, I always speak about. You plan accordingly, you could get all this shit done, but things always happen, bumps in the road. So it's Friday, this car is still in fabrication department. Um, I still need to take the intake manifold off to do the entire fuel system. I really don't want to be here till two in the morning and get this thing done just for an event this weekend. So we'll just focus on getting this thing running next week. For now, what I'm gonna do is though, put the turbo kit on the gray car and get that thing running. At least Something will be running and done this week, right? Instead of leaving with no cars running, we leave with one car running. Uh, it's been a very, uh, we've had a lot of little comp things come up in our in our, in our our list of, you now Mondays I always have this plan, right? Through, by Tuesday afternoon, it changes a little bit. By Wednesday, it's completely different. By Thursday, it's like, all right, what are we doing? So it's always hard in this line of work because we have our production line of parts, right? Then we have our custom and in-house stuff. So getting them both dynamic and balanced, it, it, it can be, very difficult at times. Um, we have a pretty good control of it, but sometimes we have to pull away the custom guys to help with the production stuff depending on uh, the, the level of, 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 of kit it is. Um, however, it's been a great week. So um, that car's on the lift, the black one. You guys remember that one a couple of videos ago? It was at the body shop. It had some back end work, uh, damage. So once we turboed it, we sent it to the body shop. It's back on the lift. Finalized putting all the panels on. He's gonna fly in tonight to uh, hang out for the weekend and test drive his car. Pretty exciting. Uh, Philippe is on his way in. Literally will be here in 10 minutes. That's cool, right? Customers coming in to drive their cars and it's the most rewarding part to see their facial expressions, right? Like, it's cool. So, um, check the tranny oil on that. So it's short about half a quart to a quart. Put that back in it. Gonna put some temperature through it, adapt the clutch. And then uh, put an updated uh, calibration in it. Um, gonna put a triple eight tire on that one. So we're waiting for that to come in. But yeah, so. A lot of little going on. Nicholas, what are you doing? I feel it coming along. Pops, putting your turbo together right now, son. Uh, putting your turbo together right now. Hey, hey. I gotta be pushing at least 3,000 in this. Shit. 
know? If I'm not pushing 3,000, I don't want it. Okay, son, we'll make sure we do that for you. All right, all right. thank you, bro. For anyone that wonders what I drive, you know what I mean? It's nothing crazy, it's just a little truck. It's a little four banger, you know what I mean? Once I turned 18, I mean 21, I was like, where's my allowance at, you know? And they told me, oh, you gotta be driving this thing now. But, well, now, like, now that I think about it, it's not that bad, you know? Like, we're about to go uh, switch these tires out, and we're about to go put some r trip weights in the back, because, like, I'm pushing about 80 horsepower on, on this thing, you know? And all that power can't hook properly without the right setup, you know? So, we're about to go see, and we're about to go make some jam. Let's do it. Right? So like first gear, it sees about 650 horsepower, second's 800, mm -hmm. third 950, fourth 1200 and up. Okay. Right? So what I'll do right now is like, I'm, you, I'm not going to let you roll into it in first and second. In third you can, mm -hmm. but just be ready for it to just spin. Just be careful, you know? So we'll turn the power down okay. a little bit just because it's going to... I might let you feel it like this, then I'll turn it down. No, you're good. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel, feel about this. Oh, you're good, you're I'm good. It. So we'll just turn like it down. Like a kid in the candy shop. We'll just turn it down just to be safe. Oh, oh, oh. oh dude. This sounds so good. So you've never used this button? Nope. So funny story, I sent him a video of me ripping on the car. And he asked me what the, one of the lights on the dash was. It says ESC off, which essentially puts the car in race mode. The TCM knows that it's about to get beat up on, and then it, it turns traction control off with the ABS system and all that. And he didn't know that. So no, I've, I've never. Yeah, you'll use I've, that now. I've never launched either. Well, you don't even need it for launching. It just kind of helps everything else. Okay. Bro, it's the best. It's it the is. best. You know, the cool thing is, is because the trimming wheels eats up so much sound that even like if we roll up, right? Like, you know, windows up, you get a business call. It's not that yeah, loud. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's not that loud. Even that. even with Center X, it's not yeah. that bad. So, you know, it really twin turboing a V10 per Connor R8. It's, I don't think you can beat a no, beat the platform. You know, so I've had, I've had the other the white car it was. I've always been a turbo guy. Right. But what made you supercharge the white car? Uh, just to be different. I don't like to. Was it fast? Trend. Uh, it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boring. Boring. And yeah. I was like, I need more. So. so the way I like to explain supercharger systems, it's like a it's a naturally aspirated car on steroids. Right. It's a very linear power band. And listen, there's nothing wrong and with superchargers. Torque, they, yeah, yeah. They're crazy. they're very good road race platforms. Yeah. You know. For the guy that doesn't want much more extra power, it's, it's something cool, you know. So it's just another form of horsepower. Yeah. You know? I never put down, you know, superchargers or nitrous because it's it's like, you know, me knocking the stylish shoe you wear because I wear Vans. Vans is the best. Yeah. Go right at the light. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. I got chills. <laughs> Partial throttle driving good. Oh man, yeah. How's yeah, the drivability? Just like stock. Just like stock. Yeah. You're getting the left lane. That was good, huh? Hey, didn't get enough of it. Oh yeah, there are dead end drives. Didn't even tell. Does that feel like turbo lag to you? No. <laughs> you barely get I don't, I don't know what to talk about turbo lag, man. <laughs> you know, it's funny with if you like, still get that. I have a, a customer, a guy right now in. Uh, Costa Rica uh -huh. is talking to me. He's like, but, but what about turbo lag? Says, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Watch my videos. Nowadays, nowadays it doesn't thing. exist. Yeah, yeah. technology is a hell of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. Right. <laughs> my new guy's funny, man. This guy, he's funny as hell. He's a good kid. Better go ham on that guy right now. Guys, what the Johnny? <laughs> See the the amounts of great support that we have all over the world. It's yeah. a great thing, you know. It's so. good though. Yeah, it is. Got a lot of people looking up to you that you don't even know. Yeah, I get your messages all the time. Yeah. That's why I always spend time talking to kids when I see right. them, you know, because you just never know, man. I was once that kid. Yeah, they're the future. You know? For sure. I remember when I was 12 years old, man. I dreamy. My mom, I used to beg my mom to take me to the drag strip. Yeah. And so I, you know, 
I, I used to save my lunch money or mow lawn so I could give her gas money because she couldn't afford to take me an hour drive. And she used to drive me and I used to pay for the gas and drop me off and leave me there all day and then come back and pick me up at night. <laughs> Little kid, man, just right, walking yeah. around. Hey, you started. Now yeah. look where you're at now. Yeah, it's crazy, right? What are your thoughts? Crazy thoughts. Yeah. Tacos? We eat tacos every f***ing day. Tacos Tuesday, Taco Monday. Taco Wednesday, Taco Thursday, Wednesday. Friday. It's Taco Day every day. <laughs> Joe, think about shop to be good? Yeah, it's our business week. Every Friday, man, we let them leave early. Really? Yeah. Have fun. man I love it hey did you guys record where were you when he was sliding in both gears I think I scared him that was that's when my heart started racing I was like oh let me give him thumbs up not that close thumbs up point the thumbs at him Fortnite you play Fortnite no um. what's better Fortnite or Roblox Hey, how many Robux do I gotta give you today, dude? Um, a billion thousand thousand. Don't trip it out of your mind. Here, I'll give you five bucks. Five. Five bucks. Move. Listen, kid. That's you know how much money I got when I was five years old? What? Nothing. Daddy. 
here. I don't know where the other iPad is though. You guys keep losing them. I keep buying you guys iPads. You guys lose them. Seriously, dude, where's the other iPad? I, you guys have four iPads. Where are they at? Four fucking iPads. $1,000 each. There you go, use that one. Oh, that's Alonzo's, dude. You can't use Alonzo's. Anyways, um, this customer, such a cool dude. This guy right here, yeah, I've gotten to know him outside the car stuff. Phenomenal dude, man. Great guy, great heart. Yeah, I wish I could tell you, but whatever. Anyway, he's flying in from Houston tomorrow night um, just to join us at IFO um, this weekend, which you guys will be watching this video as Aftermath. So yeah, he'll be here, so he's with us. I'm just gonna go have some fun, just hang out for the day and fly back home. We put a triple eight R tire on it on a factory road. Just because this thing makes so damn much power that it's a spin fast, so hopefully it hooks it a little better. Uh, so, I'm gonna go beat on it for a little bit, make sure it's good, give it to the next door to detail, and this one's ready for him. So, it's kind of been like a cool client week all week, right? Clients, it's appreciation, just coming in and appreciating their builds. Super dope. Check this thing out. This thing. Things dope. The turbo gets all done, fuel system's all done. They're all good, Nick? Uh, so, making progress. Turbos are mounted, powder coated, intercoolers are on, fuel injectors are on. Uh, we're doing our fuel system now. Realistically, I'll, I'll, what am I doing tomorrow? I'll be here tomorrow. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mess with this tomorrow. Oh, damn, Nicholas. I was on intercooler pimpuses. Yeah, so we sent everything to get powder coated, and the guy forgot to give us our adapters that go from the turbo to the intercoolers. So he's powder coating them literally right now. He's gonna Uber them to us. Cause I, yeah, right now. I paid him an expedite fee to coat this. How the fuck's he gonna send them to that? He's gonna Uber them. He's gonna bake them and everything? He's doing them right now. Oh, on this he video, does. you gotta censor out all the cuss words. Oh, man. We have to. Perfect examples right now are uh, uh, this client of ours now, Tim, that we've been talking to. He's got a fleet of cars. He's sending us his R8 and his Porsche 911S. Didn't even know who we are. This dude's too busy traveling the world making money. Yeah, He's like, Tim's not five years old. Tim's son is 15 years old and 18 years old. And guess who watches hey, those videos? Crazy. This isn't bad. <laughs> we just cuss a lot. This is informative, amazing stuff. Hey! West Coast exotic cars. Everybody. He's gonna sell it Who do you think he landed? Oh, hey, so the Fresh Kicks R8 Sheepy collab. We can't forget. How do we get that car, guys? God. I'm all out. We're gonna go get me more stuff. Johnny, what's up, fool? What's up, bro? How you guys doing? Right. Why are you looking all fresh? What's up, yeah. So, yesterday nice. was super good. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got my Chick fil A in, we got my coffee in, so we're off to a good start. If you're not grinding every day, I don't know what you're doing with your life, you know? Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is like a freaking mirror, bro. Look at this. Sick. Don't hype them up. Don't hype them up. Let them finish the job. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You know, the black is a beautiful, like, it looks great when it's all done, right? Mm -hmm. But imperfections are wild, right? Yeah, and they're hard to maintain. Right. Luckily, we got you, right? That's right, that's right. What's up, big boss? You approve of what? How bad? Bro, I did. I approved this, like, 11 out of 10, bro. All right, for sure. Okay, okay. Mo's the guy. So, you know how I said I wanted 3,000 horsepower? I want that 5,000, bro. That's why we got these for you. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this. Not only are we going to put one set of billet intake manifold on, we're going to do two. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, uh, so saludos a todos los uh, compas, los paisas out there, you know? Because, like, dude, uh, I think somebody commented on the last video saying, hey, like, Spanish subtitles, you know? So, I'm out here, Spanish, now. Buenos dias a todos, estamos acá en Sheepy Race. Uh, acá tenemos estos Billy Indic Manifolds, las arañas, you know what I mean? Look at this, like, en español, pendejo. Yeah, oh. Estos son las, las rompetas de la banda y todo eso, like, like, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, this is how, like, banda. Oh, hey, hey, ¿cómo, cómo va otra vez? Como dijiste. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. En cada hoyo, acá, entra el aire para cada cilindro. Si quieres más poder, eso es lo que tú necesitas. Si quieres tú, que tu Lamborghini o tu Audi R8 va a ser uh, tu turbo. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. How do you say? Yeah. Like, doble turbo. Doble turbo. You know what I mean? Do, ¿Cómo se dice turbo en español? Turbo? Right? Turbo. Turbo. Yeah, turbo. It's the same thing, just kind of roll the R, yeah, you know? So yeah, it sounds yeah, Mexican. Yeah. 
Anda, cabrón. Estamos teniendo dificultades, uh, pero vamos <coughs> para acá. Acá está uh, nuestro compa, nuestro compa Kundo. Hey, Kundo. Uh, este niño se llama Kundo. Tiene... Niño. Sí, yeah, yeah, yeah. es niño. Es eh, bueno, es niño. You know? uh, uh, está como niño un poco este carro. Chicano que todo va a estar bien para el día de hoy. Y estamos a uh, un buen comienzo del día. Después de esto vamos a ir para un, uh, un car meet que está allá en Anaheim. Eh, ahí los, los vamos a mirar. Saludos a todos. Ánimo. This car is going to be at the Super Street Toyota Tires Meet. We're going to be out there too as well. My buddy Alonso will be driving this and I get to drive his AMG. I'm going to be ripping in that thing, so. Well, pretty much that's how we're starting off the morning. You know, we got my boy Alex right here. Oh, my dad. My dad, What's my up? dad. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, see, I'm stressing him out so much. He got canas and shit. Canas, güey. No mames. Just for you people that don't know what canas are, it's gray hair in yeah. Spanish. Yeah, you don't much. like gray hair. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're so you're young at heart though, bro. You know what I mean? You trying to hide me up right now? Yeah, bro. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. All right, we're done. So we just got back to the meet, and I guess I landed a cover feature for Super Street. It's pretty insane. I never really imagined this, you know. But say say hi to my buddy Craig right here. They're great drivers. Hit him up, you know what I mean? Cause like, he also shoot Lambos, that's what he got. It's like a ring in the middle, you know what I mean? That's a bull, like. like right across. Shout out to my boy Craven. Uh, much love, we're out here. We got Nick right here in the building. Hey, look at that. Gang, gang. <laughs> Good morning. There's <laughs> <laughs> this guy here from Houston. Uh, we're gonna go to IFO, just have a little bit of fun. This is his first time driving the car, so uh, we we'll just throw, throw, throw him in, let him figure it out. So we're gonna go to IFO. Realistically, we're not trying to go anything crazy fast with this, just want to have fun. Ryan wants to break into the eights, so we're gonna do whatever we have to do to get him in the eights. I'm not gonna do that with these cars because I don't want him to break, I want him to go home. Yeah, he's local, so if he breaks it, whatever. Uh, so yeah, this car's fun. Yo, I give it to you. What? You jumped in that motherfucker and sent it. I'm, I'm a racer, man. Yo, I love I, oh, I, Alex, I, man. Yo, man. I can't believe you did that. Yeah. I was telling him, I was like, nobody ever does that. Nah, dude, I got shit. We Persian. We got them huevos, man. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Dude jumped in the big league and just sent you. Hey, I know, I know. Shoot. I was all over on second so gear. Bad. Oh, Mine too, man. but I grabbed it. First, I was beautiful. I just couldn't believe I am here, man. Alex is a great guy. If anybody need it, Alex is the man and is a scary, scary machine. <laughs> scary again, man. Very nice. Wait, did you did you drive it? Yes, I love <laughs> it, man. I'm still kind of shaking. <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> great guys, great team, man. Love California, love Shibu Racing. Can't go wrong with that. We have so many safety settings, and we keep them controllable safe so you don't hurt nothing. That on a cold morning like this morning, I just rolled into the car, and it hit a, a pretty, pretty, uh, a nice boost cut. So, um, I'm gonna check that out. You know, cold conditions, you know, clearly, DA's really low means more boost levels, means more power, right? So make sure everything's happy. Probably just turn the power down a little bit. Um, I don't want to turn the boost cut up because that, you know, we want to keep the boost controlled. Nothing above 16 pounds of boost. So can I quickly see um, what it did while they fill up and then uh, we'll be good to go, so. I, uh, I'm going with the black one, man. Black one's black sharp. Nice, yeah. yeah. I love it.
set up. What are you doing? God damn, you ready to go racing? One of us got to go eight. One of us. Who's he gonna be? All of us. Hey, <laughs> wait. It's very good. It drives like factory until you downshift. That's when it goes crazy. I can't wait till it hits the Texas streets. We're just gonna shut it down at the eighth mile. Don't worry. Okay. Well, don't slam on the brake. Okay. Back off. You don't remember me? Call. I've been racing with you for 15 I know, years, but man. They're gonna call us here. Yeah. Just so you know. This guy right here, you can't bull him. This guy knows everything about. It. He's been teching for how long? 94. Since 94. So you can't tell him your car's stock. You can't tell him. Yeah. Just keep it honest. They're twin turbo. They're yeah. built. He knows. I saw it when you were rolling by. <laughs> so yeah. FID. Over here at Fontana. Big shout out to uh, Cliff at IFO. Been running these events for 12 years. Back when we used to come on a U-Haul little dolly like that, like a U-Haul. Dolly. The dolly just grabs the front wheels. Me and Charlie. Yeah, Charlie had a 2000 CRV. We used to use the CRV to put a dolly on it, put the front wheels on the Integra, and come here and race. Um, so it's kind of cool, man. You know, my heart's always in drag racing. Regardless, these are not drag cars, they're all around cars. You can go to the drag strip, have some fun, be competitive, and drive it home. We just drove 100 miles here, you know. So hopefully, we just keep the cars healthy, don't want to break them. You know, this guy, I mean, Ryan's a little wild, so, but the other two, we don't want to break. Um, so it's kind of humbling to come back to your, you know, the, the home track and where you where you started. You know, what I mean, ten years ago, me and Charlie were rolling up with twenty bucks in our pocket, <laughs> with gas money to just barely make it here, and we won our first event and go all the way back home. So it's humbling. Yeah. Like this makes me miss Charlie. It's like, you know. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna start off with um, you know, essentially setting up the boost controller. It's cold, but they do prep the track good enough. I mean, these cars aren't slick cars, they're, they're just, you know, radio cars. So, I'm probably gonna, we'll start there with the power. Probably turn it down a little bit, actually. So, uh, we're here at the track, we're at uh, Fontana IFO races, and uh, we're getting ready to do our first qualifying pass. I have zero passes in the car, and we're gonna do some eighth mile passes just to see how the car hooks up, uh, make sure everything's working correctly, and then um, uh, we'll go later in the day, we'll go, go ahead and shoot for some eights. Uh, this is my first pass, we'll see how it goes. I think I broke an axle. Dude, what happened? I think I broke an axle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was waiting for you to drag me, man. Nah. I was like, what are you doing? It, the second it, I started, <laughs> I let off a bit, and I'm like, oh, this one's gonna come up right it behind It freaking me. wheel hopped, and it's like, snapped something. Oh, did it snap so you could hear yeah, it? Yeah, I felt, I felt something break. And then it just free revved after that. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get it back to the pits real quick. All right, cool, cool. So the input shaft broke. Yeah, he took the car, he's been beating up on it, and now we take it somewhere with preps and uh, input shaft. It. Big deal, we got oh, overnight departs from Dodson. We should have done the no prep racing. <laughs> we should have stuck to street racing, man. <laughs> now nah, we'll, we'll overnight departs from Dodson and have we'll it up and running fixed. in a couple days. I'll get AAA to tow it back. I mean, it moves, so let's just get down there. Yeah. I'm launching it at the track with uh, with this wheel tire setup um, and all the power. This track was super sticky, so basically what happened was I launched it on launch control, at, and uh, when it left, it wheel hopped really hard, which has never done before. So wheel hopped, and then after about the third wheel hop, it snapped um, a half shaft. So we're gonna get some uh, some Dodson half shafts overnighted and get it fixed, and we're gonna come back and. Uh, and run some eights. So, yeah, that's the plan as of right now. Uh, kind of disappointing, but it's part of racing. I already knew that going into it. I <laughs> broke a lot of cars in my days, so um, it's life. But uh, we're gonna get it back, and then we're gonna go run some eights. So. Uh, what's up, guys? So we're back. Um, <clears throat> as you guys, you know, starting the vlog from driving. You know, it uh, kind of sucks because, yeah, you know, some days are just not. It's all right to have days that you don't win, right? I mean, you could plan everything where hey we're gonna do this we do that listen it, it doesn't always happen I mean 
Brian broke an input shaft out the way, whatever, quick little fix. And then we get on social media and we see someone as such an icon and, and being a human on top. Forget the ball that he played, right? I mean, I have kids like Kobe Bryant passing away today, helicopter. It kind of like puts this thing in like, I kind of don't even want to be here. You know, I know we all planned and hyped up to come. I kind of don't even want to be here, you know, but uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate when like that happens. It's life, you know, we think that life is guaranteed. Nothing, not, the only thing's for sure is we're all gonna go, right? Just, we don't know when. So, I mean, I honestly text my kids and told them that I love them and hug them because you just never know, man. We're just so caught up, like right now, I'm so caught up of breaking up a piece, you know, on an axle, and then it's just like, hey man, at least we're fortunate enough to be here to be doing these kind of things, right? So, um, yeah, it's kind of kind of a sad day, right? Sad day in the world. So I'm gonna make a hit really quick. Um, and, and truth be told, we're done for the day. You know, I'm gonna make a hit. I'm gonna gather everybody. I appreciate all our, our friends that came out, and we're gonna go have some some Gen Korean food and just love one another. You know, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, some some things are just not meant. You know, it is what it is. Take it for what it is. Appreciate love and 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 just that's it. You know, make sure you tell everybody you love them. So I'm gonna make a hit on this car. It runs a 950. Whatever, if this one breaks away and push shaft, whatever. If it goes an eight, even cooler. But we're just gonna make a hit since we've already paid. Pack up and go eat some good lunch with all the friends and family. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Thank you. Buddy Ryan, you know, Ryan, uh, good spirited guy, like we told everybody, hardcore driver this time, but uh, uh, we'll fix this, his, his, his actual drive shaft quick. Unfortunately, he can join us for the uh, for the lunch, but it's all good. He's gonna enjoy the rest of the day, kind of, I think, put racing aside for the rest of the day. Just appreciate your loved ones and your friends, because life is too short, as you can see on TV, right? Too short. Yeah, you gotta zoom in. <laughs> you want pops right here? Hey, you know, pops. Like, days like today are like the rewarding day. Hey, 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 hey. With my Lambo done, I mean, my R8. Uh -huh. What's it gonna be done? Yeah, for real, I was like, I've been waiting like, what, like five days already? Racing <laughs> 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 is cool, cars are cool, but food is cooler. Uh, anybody in the IE area? I think they have a gen out in OC. We, the one we come to is in Riverside, off of McKinley. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, that's it. Hey man, how you yeah. So I wanted to just load up and go to Cal. My dad lived here in Riverside. Yeah. So I called him. I said, yo, let me live with you for a couple months. I'll get my life together. Yeah. I came out here. I had 700 bucks. I went to go we got auto zone. Yeah. Fast forward. 16 years, here I am. Wow. You should be proud of yourself, man. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, you man. A, I mean, you, you put a name out there for yourself. I'm, yeah. trying to, I'm still trying to figure it out. 
I think you're known at 47 states, bro. Ah. Not 50. <laughs> 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 Yo, check this out, though. Yeah. I love radish. Radish is bomb. Korean barbecue, just dipping in the hot sauce. Um, cool thing is, like, who thought that a mechanical item would bring in great friends and great company, right? Um, on top of that, Alonzo has been killing it. You know, Alonzo, man, general manager for Chibi Race now. Uh, he's booked. we got Tim from Ohio. Tim and his two sons, 18-year-old son, 15-year-old son. Big, big automotive enthusiast. And it's cool because the dad, super busy. So he's got a fleet of cars like Alex. I want you to build all my cars, right? Alex and Alonzo, because he talks mostly to Alonzo. Build all my cars. So <clears throat> right now we got his uh, Gen 2 R8 RWS. So kind of, you know, we know RWS is a little bit. And there's Porsche 9, uh, 911S Turbo S. RWS is going to get a 2 Plus package. And then the 911 is going to get our uh, Catalyst downpipes, titanium exhaust, and, uh, 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 a nice tune. And uh, they're going to fly out here February 14th. Um, and, uh, <laughs> You know, they're going to fly out here and, and experience, you know, what we do with us. And hopefully we can have activities like this with them too, right? Um, this is a true mission. Bye, Sa, bro. Bye, Sa. Bye, Sa, And uh, He's not a solo, though. So, on, on, on top of that, you know, as you guys know, you know, unfortunately, and it's, I like to have, like, unrealistic, unrealistic goals, right? I mean, Spiders R8, Bill's going to take the track on Sunday. All right, perfect world scenario. Yeah, everything in a perfect world scenario works, right? Like, have high horsepower cars that never break. It just doesn't work that way. So we had, you know, things happen in the shop, we can't finish R8, but it was kind of for the best because, you know, uh, we're, we big shout out to MV Forge, all of them there. They were very eager to work with us, you know, and, and we, new year, new relationships, new goals, and we want to we wanna work with eager people too, you know, not just big name brand companies that, you know, they, they do well. MP4 makes a phenomenal product and eager just like us. Like, I feel like even GP Race is still a more small company, just, you know, hungry, just chasing, 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 and so it's so, a so, so we team up with them and it kind of for the best so we could debut the car with our package and the MP4 rims. And of course with Toyo tires, you know, big shout out to Toyo, always been so supportive. We're you know, big, big, big supporters of Toyo tires. one everywhere. Um, so yeah, uh, this week coming up, we'll have for sure the car already done. But in this vlog, you guys can catch everything we've been doing, experiencing life, enjoying our family. Um, you know, it, it sucks like me. I live, in, I, I live a very repetitive life. What I mean by that, I wake up, I kiss my baby, I go to Starbucks, out of the same coffee, Fenty iced coffee, the turn the cup, nine pumps of plastic, extra ice, like hair. I go to work, answer emails, get to work, leave at five, go to the gym, go home, have dinner, repeat. Well, sometimes we get so caught up with work that we don't take a step back and appreciate it. life, friends, you know, loved ones. So, kind of, I hate to say, it, but it, I think it's for all of us. It takes something to happen to realize what we have, right? Well, I'm at the track. I read this about Kobe, and it honestly killed my. Killed it. I don't even want to be here. I text my loved ones right away. I love you, no matter what. And I said, you know what? This is all go eat lunch and have a good time. So yeah, that's what we're doing, you know. So uh, bittersweet, but at the end of the day, uh, we're, ending, we're ending this uh, this vlog. It's a very positive now. So. Good times, good people. Sure. We love it. So. Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, end of this week, we'll have some updates. So this vlog's dropping Monday, Tuesday. So by Friday, get another one. Two vlogs a week in the heart. My man's John over here. John. What are we doing all week at shop? We're straight killing it in. Shout out to my boy Alex. Shout out to all the Chicken Ray fam. We're out here. Unfortunately, there's no Chick-fil-A today. But, hey, they're closer to Sundays, which means it's green. Green barbecue Sundays. Let me introduce you to my lovely son. Say hi, Hendrix. Big man. He just woke up. So he's a little. See? Life is about this. Family.